hey what's up guys this is team and in this part 2 video i am going to talk about what is data warehouse in the previous video i had talked about what is dbms so if you are new in this video don't forget to check out that video i will provide the link in the description now what is data warehouse we already know what is data warehouse it is a central repository of data stored from various resources and we already also know what is the properties so what is the first property it has to be subject oriented and the second property integrated repository and the third one is it has to be non volatile and also the fourth one is it has to be time variant now what does it mean by subject oriented we need to understand it let's say we have a employee table and this employee table contains name address phone number age father's name mother's name and so on and so forth columns of of each employee of any company or organization now let's say we have a department table and that table may contain department name department id and salary now from the above table uh, employee table you can easily understand that yeah this is the data which contains the details of any kind of employee whose name is address is phone number is age father's name address, and so on and in the department table you can easily see and you can easily understand that this table also contain the department name department id maybe let's say salary now this employee table this department table is subject actually they are subject by this subject you can easily determine that yes this table contains details of the employee and yes the below table contains the details of the department and this are this has to be this has to be obviously maintained by the property of dbms data warehouse in data warehouse it has to be done okay so you can easily say that uh, employee table contains the details about the employees and the department table contains the details about the department of that company so you can easily uh, understand which one which table contains what kind of data so the next one is integrated repository now what does it mean by that like let's say we have a data warehouse now let's say we have a, we, uh, we have source data then operation system data and let's say some files data now now the source data the source data go to data warehouse in the process of etl i will explain what does it mean by etl obviously uh, so now then then operational systems go go through in the etl process and then uh, it got into the data warehouse and also for the same case for files now what does it mean by this etl so guys e means extract the data so the source data the operation system data the files that are coming from various resources and this day we have we have to be extracted like what kind of data we need to store in our data warehouse so at first we need to extract the data from the source data from the operation system data and from the file system data and after that t the t means Trans transform data because we need to transform the data because uh, maybe the data contains so many errors so many null files so we we have to handle them and after that when we also transform the source data operation system data and files data then we have l and the l means load the data and so what we have to do at first we need to extract the data from source from operation system for files or or many more sources possible so at first we, we need to extract the data and then we need to transform the data we need to handle the nas value we need to clean the data and we need to make it a structure format structure format then we need to load the data in our data warehouse now let's say i am now i am going to talk about what does it mean by non volatile and also i will talk about time variant now let's say we have a employee table and that table contains name at the salary a father's name mother's name and so on and so forth columns so now let's say we do want to change the salary 25000 to 12000 without any kind of intention we can't do it because without any kind of valid reason why do we change the salary of any kind of employee so this means is actually we can't do that so this means it has to be non volatile without any valid reason we cannot change the salary of the employee and the last property the data has to be historical data because actually we why we are using data warehouse we are using data warehouse because we need to analyze the data we need to some important insights from the data and for that reason we need to data historical data because we need to by the historical data we can easily analyze the data and we can find many kind of 
information from the data which may help for the future at for that reason we need to the historical data so hope i hope this video helped to understand about what is data warehouse and i thank you guys for watching this video and then in the next video i am going to talk about dimensional modeling so guys thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell because when i upload new videos you get notified so guys thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching this video